Is this the phone number of Nancy? Hello? Is anyone there? Don't worry, this isn't some scam or something. Can I just get a reply, please? Anything! Um, excuse me, but... Can you tell me who you are? I don't really feel comfortable exchanging messages with a complete stranger. Just let me confirm first. This is Nancy, correct? Yes, that's me. So, can you tell me who you are now? We've never met, but my name's Katrina. I'm Scott's childhood best friend. Maybe he's mentioned me before? I see. I haven't heard anything about a childhood best friend named Katrina. Sorry. Can I ask why you've contacted me? Can you just divorce Scott already? I'm really running out of my patience. Excuse me? You need to divorce him, right now, as soon as possible. In fact, I need to know that you'll make an agreement by the end of the day. No, within the hour. Tick tock, better get to it. Okay, hold on. This is absurd. I don't even know who you are. How dare you just start spewing nonsense about a divorce? Even if you are his childhood friend, this is going too far. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You really don't get it, do you? Get what? What is it? You need to explain yourself. Me and Scotty are in a relationship. Okay, what? What's that supposed to mean? We've been friends since we were little, but I had always had feelings for him. Eventually, I guess he realized he felt the same way, and that was that. Too bad by that time, he had already made the mistake of marrying you. The timing of it all. I can tell you're not that bright, huh? Oh, Nancy. It was right in front of you all along. No wonder Scott got tired of you. <laughs> Don't tell me. The high school reunion? From five months ago? Wow, impressive. You actually got it right. Ever since I took Scott home that night, we've been together, deeply in love, unlike you two. It took you quite a while to find out, huh? I can't help but laugh thinking about those months we shared while you actually believed Scott still loved you. <laughs> okay, okay. Now tell me, why now? You must have a good reason for exposing your affair at this point. It's my birthday next week. Happy 30th to me, I guess. Um, okay. So what? It's your birthday, and... Well, I keep telling Scotty I want to get married by my 30th birthday, but you know how it is. He doesn't really have the guts to tell you he loves another woman to your face. I'd really like to get married in my prime years, though, you know? Getting married past 30 is not very glamorous. There's already less than a month left till I hit that 30 mark. Don't got a lot of time, really. You gotta help me out here, Nancy. Hurry up and get a divorce. Not just for me, but for yourself as well. You don't want to stay with a man who doesn't love you anymore. Wow, bravo. Such a stupid reason. And you'd go to this length to ruin someone else's marriage. I guess you're the one who's not really that bright, huh? Stupid reason? Oh, okay. I guess we're dealing low blows now. Really? Just rude. Let's not forget our manners. We haven't even met in person, and you text message me to divorce Scott out of nowhere with no damn explanation. I think it's a no-brainer who the rude one here is. Let's play fair, shall we? That's obviously because you won't get a frickin' divorce already, you selfish nobody. If you love Scotty, you'll let him go. I've been devoted to him since I was little. I was the one who was always by his side. Although I was only able to convince him to go on a date once in high school. Any chance of things turning into romance ended with that date. At least for the time being, of course. He ended up moving away to New York with his family after getting into a university there, along with his father being transferred there for work. I can stop thinking about him, though. He was always in my heart. And my wishes finally came true when I got the invitation to the reunion. At last, we were reunited. 
and I knew from the time apart that he was the only one for me. I was going to make sure he was mine, but I found out he had gotten married to some tramp like you. Very touching. Just get to the point already. I really didn't care at that point whether or not he was married. I was going to make sure we ended up together, no matter what I had to do. Of course, considering our history, it was a piece of cake. We were finally headed towards marriage, just as long as I made sure he got rid of you. That's been the hard part, honestly. Just do us a favor and get the divorce already. Stop making it hard for us. Sorry to interrupt your cute little emotional outburst, but... Considering Scott hasn't even mentioned the word divorce, how do you expect anything to go according to your plan? What, are you just gonna forge my signature or something and turn in the divorce papers? It's not too hard to imagine that you wouldn't mind breaking the law. Shoot, I didn't think of that. That could have actually been a good option. I was just joking. You seriously would break the law? Are you crazy? If you got caught, you would do time. Do time? Like, as in, jail time? Sure thing. You'd be stuck in some cramped up jail cell, who knows for how long. Don't try. It's no use now that I can rat you out. Please, I'm not stupid. You're the one who said it could have been a good option, no? I was joking, alright? You can't even take a joke? No wonder Scotty doesn't love you. Hmm, alrighty then. Whatever you say. Anyways, what are you planning on doing now? What do you mean? You want me and Scott to get a divorce, right? That's why you contacted me? You are ready to face the consequences of whatever happens next, right? I'm sure you thought it through before texting me. Face what consequences? You mean some kind of compensation? You want money, don't you? Well, money would be nice, of course. I got you, Nancy. If it's money that you want, money is what you'll get. Scotty will pay whatever price you demand, if it means he'll get to stay with me. <laughs> Scott said that? He'd pay anything? He didn't say it quite yet, but it's fine. I know he'll pay. Considering I'm also pregnant. You're pregnant? I'll be giving birth to Scotty's child, so you really have no choice at this point but to get divorced. I'm sure you wouldn't go as far as to make the child live without its actual father, right? Well, I'll be damned. The fool got you pregnant. I guess if that's the case then, I don't mind getting a divorce. It's better for the child to live with both parents. Oh my god, really? You'd be okay with it? Just make sure you take care of everything, alright? Otherwise, I'll be fine. Yay! Thank you so much, Nancy! I'm actually surprised you were such an understanding person. I thought you'd give me more trouble, but I guess you were able to grasp the situation objectively. I must say, you have an odd taste in men, though. I guess you have a thing for dirtbags? I don't see why you would be happy with an unreliable man-child like Scott. Oh, wait. Maybe I do. You don't really seem like such a great catch yourself. Just because you lost doesn't mean you can just say whatever you want now. Choose your words a little more wisely. Understood? Me and Scott not only have trust built from years and years of friendship, we're the ones in an actual relationship. The love you and Scott shared? Not real. I'm the one who knows Scott more than anyone else. So back off! To each their own. I guess everyone has different taste. I respect that. I can't really judge someone for loving who they love. You got that right. That's more like it. Well then, let me know when you finalize the divorce. Don't keep me waiting. That'll be the day I turn in the marriage papers. Sure. I'll talk it over with Scott, so just wait a bit, okay? I don't have time. I only have a week until I turn 30, remember? You have until then. I was going to make sure you guys got a divorce today, but I'm being understanding and giving you more time. Don't take advantage of my kindness. Respect the deadline unless you want more trouble. Katrina, I signed the divorce papers. 
You're good to go. Well, well, if it isn't Scotty's ex-wife. Congratulations on the divorce. I'm a bit worried for you. Make sure you get some therapy or something, okay? Don't want you going around making a fool out of yourself because you know what happens when life hits you a little too hard. I guess you're not really holding back now that you succeeded in getting us divorced. <laughs> I'm sure getting divorced was painful for you, so I'll let that one slide. Scott is going to stay at his parents' house. I didn't hear about that. Why can't he just stay at his house? Oh, you mean my house? What do you mean, your house? That's Scotty's house, no? The house me and Scott were living in was originally my parents' house. No way. That beautiful two-story house with the big backyard? That's your house? You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, that's the house. My house. After my parents both passed away, I inherited the house. I officially own the house. Ugh, seriously? I thought I was going to be able to live there with Scott. Do you know how excited I was thinking that house was ours? Way to burst my bubble. Too bad for you, huh? Guess things won't be as good as you thought they were going to be. What the heck? If I had known sooner, I wouldn't have ended the contract for my current apartment. Why don't you just go with Scott to stay with his parents? I thought you were already going anyways, since Scott mentioned that would be the case. He did? I'm hearing this for the first time. Scott's parents' place is huge and has enough rooms for at least two families to live. I'm sure it'll work out for the time being. You'll be fine. Um, I guess so. I don't really have a choice at this point. I don't have a place to live right now. It'll make do. Since the place is huge, I'm sure me and Scotty will be able to settle in. We'll just take advantage of the opportunity. We'll spend time together, I'll get to know his parents. Two birds with one stone. That's a little bit unrealistic, no? You didn't hear they have five kids running around the house already? You're fine with that? I certainly wouldn't be. Five kids? What? Four kids? That doesn't make any sense. Who's kids? Just get the story from Scott, please. I'm done here. I have better things to do. You guys have a nice life, all right? Nancy, pick up! What the hell is going on? What is up with those darn kids? How may I help you today, Katrina? Not that I have the time for this. Make it quick. Like I said, those kids! Do I have to keep repeating myself? Why are there five kids? What is this supposed to be? A soap opera? Oh, the little ones. I see you've met them already. Aren't they just adorable? Hurry up and explain yourself! You didn't hear? That there are Scott's kids? For crying out loud! Yes, obviously I've heard that already. You really got some tricks up your sleeve or something, huh? I was wrong about you. You really are something. Um, okay. Why would you say that? You would really abandon all your kids like that? I get that Scott cheated on you. But they are your own blood. You're supposed to have custody over them, not us. Oh, brother. Custody? You really got things all wrong. No, you got it all wrong. I'm sure you know that the mother is supposed to get custody over the kids after divorce. So stop playing dumb. I don't know what you were thinking, making Scott take care of all five kids. This is too much. And besides, don't you care about them at all? You don't deserve to even call yourself a mother at this point. Unbelievable. You should be ashamed of yourself. Okay, Katrina, calm down. I think you're not getting something. As much as I adore those little kiddos, they aren't mine. We aren't related by blood. What in the... All five kids, not mine. Scott had them before marrying me. What is this, so 
some damn nightmare? What is wrong with you? The least you could have done is tell me ahead of time. Shocker! Ought to take in, huh? Trust me, I know the feeling. Scott told me it was only Johnny, the oldest. So I got married, not really knowing there were actually five. It took a while to accept there were five little munchkins I would need to take care of as my own. So what you're trying to say is... You weren't the first wife? Scott was married once before you? Pretty much. He's a smooth talker, that one. Scott's been divorced twice? Had I known... Wait a sec. Not twice. Three times, hon. Three times?! Who the hell did I get married to?! Three divorces and five kids?! This is insane! This is preposterous! And what, you just accepted it all? Just like that? Love blinds you. I'm sure you know. Although I never really did get to hear about the reason for the divorces. Scott was never really the type to be open about that kind of stuff. But I do know that the oldest two are from the first marriage. And the other three are from the second marriage. What in the actual heck? This is seriously twisted. I'm gonna throw up. What about his other wives? Don't they get custody or something? Scott's parents made a big fuss about keeping them. So what? Are you saying that worked? The fights over custody during the time of the divorces were apparently quite chaotic. Scott's parents didn't want to be away from their grandkids, so they fought pretty hard. They made an attractive deal with the moms, paying them all consolation money and exempting them from having to pay any child support, as long as they gave up custody over the kids. So now, they are all under Scott's care. And now yours, too. I can't believe any of this. You people are crazy. And to think Scott would agree to pay consolation money. Like I said, I don't really know what actually happened with the divorces, but I'm sure we can both imagine how it must have went down. Of course Scott would pay. He's the scumbag who can't control himself. That's pretty much the whole situation. So, it goes to say that Scott and his parents are practically drowning in debt. Wait, what? Looking back, the only reason I ended up marrying Scott is that I was dealing with the loss of my parents. I was in an emotionally bad place, and I couldn't think straight. Scott was the only one I could rely on at the time. It ended up that Scott only used me for my money that my parents left me. Jeez, what a loser. And to think I let him take advantage of me like that. Biggest regret of my life. Oh my god, I married that loser. Just to let you know, me and Scott lasted a mere six months. Thank goodness not a minute longer. Six months? That's it? I thought you guys were married for much longer. Let's see here. He cheated on me five months ago, so that means... Oh wow, how funny. He cheated on me the minute after we got married. Are you serious? Oh yeah. You're also going to be giving birth to Scott's kid too, right? Imagine that. Six little kids. Running, screaming, throwing things. That's going to be a lot of fun. Six kids? No, I can't. This is too much. I'm really glad I wasn't able to get pregnant during our marriage. Aren't you glad? That would have been seven for ya! Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't take this! This is too much to process! I'm gonna have a panic attack! Heck, I might even die of a heart attack at this point! Let me make things easier to process. Let's just say Scott's lower half overrides his brain. He just can't keep it in his pants, you know? So now, he's the father of six. And then his parents just couldn't bear the thought of not seeing their cute little grandkids. So they just acted impulsively. So now, they are dirt poor, living in debt. That's pretty much it. Easy to understand, no? That can't be true. I can't believe any of this. This is ridiculous. What am I supposed to do now? Gotta go. I'm moving to my new place today. I thought you said you were living in that house you inherited from your parents. What's going on? 
Oh, come on. You think I would want to sleep in the same house you and Scott messed around in? That's just gross. Uh... And not to mention bad for my mental health. I decided to sell the house, have someone take it off my hands, and forget about this whole fiasco. I didn't want to gag every time I step into the house and I'm reminded of the stuff that went down. Utterly disgusting. Please, I beg you, don't leave me alone to deal with this alone. Don't abandon me. Excuse me? Abandon you? Please don't make me laugh. How can I abandon someone I never actually met in person? Don't be ridiculous. Besides, you expect me to care after the chaos that you started? Wait, please. I don't know what to do. I guess this is goodbye? Have a good life, Katrina. With everything settled, I blocked Katrina. I'm planning on demanding consolation money from Scott and Katrina in a few days. I'll be working with a lawyer, of course. I'm sure you're curious about what happened to Katrina after that. I really thought Katrina would call the marriage off since she was practically freaking out the last time we talked. She actually had already handed the signed marriage papers over to Scott beforehand. And before she could stop it, surprise, Scott had already turned to the papers. They were officially a married couple. She couldn't go back to her hometown, with everyone she knows gossiping and spreading rumors about her past love scandals. She could have filed for a divorce right away, but she was too weak to face Scott's parents, who had been taking care of her ever since they found out about her pregnancy. She gave up, not having the mental capacity to deal with the situation. Unfortunately for her, she had to get a job, while pregnant, in order to help pay for the consolation money involved with Scott's divorces. On top of that, she had to take care of not only the five kiddos, but her step-parents as well. I must say, I do feel quite sorry for her situation. That's a lot to deal with during a pregnancy. I don't really expect Scott to do much to help. He's a selfish, good-for-nothing loser who can't control himself after all. As for Katrina and Scott's relationship, down the drain. I guess money really does cause marital problems. They can't stand each other at this point. I guess Scott will be heading towards his fourth divorce. It'll be a first for Katrina, I suppose. And that's how the cookie crumbles.